Hello, good day to you, me Andy, and this is Talking Really. And uh, here's a local story to me, because I saw this and I thought, ah, I've got to make a comment about this story because it is ridiculous and it does affect me. Well, I do go to Wilminster every now and again. I do go shopping there or get me hair cut or whatever. And I find it very annoying that they have now, obviously, which council are charging, including charging for disabled badge holders. Now, we have a hard enough job trying to park anywhere as it is without them making us pay for the privilege all right yeah okay so people will argue they've got a car they have to pay so why shouldn't we yeah that's fair enough but we rely on our cars to get around it's not as if we we can't you know do what you do which is go walking and carrying stuff around because we can't we can go on the train yes but you've still got to get from a to b and my station is actually a mile away uh, so if I went on my scooter, I would have to go a mile before I even start. And that's not using my car. Okay, so I drive my car to Warminster and I park. And at the moment, because they aren't charging me, I'm not parking in any car park. I'm going to be parking on double yellow lines as is allowed under my badge, my blue badge. I'm allowed to park on double yellows. So that is exactly what I'm doing. I'm parking there for free, for free, up to three hours. So, you know, they don't like it. They've lost out because I'm not paying them a penny. And uh, what made me laugh was this story. So illegal parking in Warminster set to be punished. Yes, you're going to be punished. You've been very naughty, people. You are so, so naughty. We're going to put you over our knee and we're going to give you a smack to the bottom because you're so naughty, you're going to be punished. Yeah, right. Right, let's just remind ourselves the law, okay? It's by consent. If you don't consent, it doesn't affect you, all right? Lose the fear, the fear of consequences, okay? You want to park, you park. They can give you a ticket. That is the fear. The fear of a ticket and the fine. The fine is actually illegal. The PCNs are illegal. They can be fought very simply. As a, th a three letter process, you do it by the book. And if they don't agree with you, you just take them to the small claims court and charge them money. And they will soon give up. All right? Trust me. Anybody who has done it, you'll know what I'm on about. Anybody that hasn't done it, well, you ought to try it because it's very, very re refreshing. Being in control of your life. No fear. Okay? Fear of consequences. What is it? What's the consequence of this? It's a ticket. All right? They're going to be going around ticketing people who were parking allegedly illegally. Okay? So... I would love them to give me a ticket because it would prove my point that uh, it doesn't worry me at all. A ticket is a ticket. It can be fought very easily and they will lose every time. It might take a little while, but it's true. So what are they doing then in lovely Warminster, town councillors are employing more parking uh, meter men or parking enforcement uh, and obviously the councillor Rob Fryer chairman of Warminster's development committee most parking is done responsibility responsibly and in compliance with legal requirements however people should be aware vehicles breaking regulations by for example parking on double yellow lines <laughs> can be moved on or issued with a penalty notice. Well, you've got a slight problem there, mate. I can park on it for three hours. So, they have agreed to liaise with Wiltshire Council to keep them informed about any hotspots. Oh, my God. So, you're going to be punished because they're going to give you a ticket. So, there you go, Warminster. 
behave yourselves. Because they're going to get a ticket if you park illegally. And also you're probably going to get a ticket if you go into the uh, the car park near Iceland now. And you park there because that's actually private. And it's even better if you get, if you get a PCN from a private company like them. They're so easy to fight. So easy to fight. And if you want some help, I'm available for one-to-ones. Uh, you can book me. Uh, go to my website www.talkingreally.co.uk book me for a one-to-one -one and I can tell you all about it and that's it from me have a very good day and big love to Warminster